guys and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Um, just want to say thank you for stopping by and if you're not subscribed, if you could hit the subscribe button, like, leave a comment because it all helps out. And yeah, if you could do that, I would appreciate it a lot. So I'm going to post a couple of comments just on the screen now. I'm going to start posting two or maybe three because it's hard to keep up with four because I don't get that many comments. So the more comments I get, the more comments I can share. That's I think that's where I'm going to go with it now. So I'm just going to post two comments on the screen just now for you guys to share my support to you. So thank you so much. Even if you don't get time to comment, if you could just hit the like button, that helps a awful lot. And I just want to say I appreciate you all just for watching as well. So today we're doing a Glitter Girl, not a Glitter Girls. We was called the Glitter Girls before, but we're now called Hooked on Nails. It's just a small group of ladies on YouTube. I will link the playlist down below and the Instagram only accounts will be down below because um, we've got a couple of just Instagram only people. Um, but people who are in the on the YouTube community, they'll be in the playlist, all the videos will be there. So I will link that in the description box for you all to watch and as a pinned comment, so make sure you go and show the other girls some support. It's not boring, it's not like repetitive, everyone's doing the same sort of thing. It's like a creative, you know, freedom. We just set a theme and you can go with it and it's surprising how many people interpret one theme differently and you'll pick up lots of different ideas just by watching a small playlist so i'll link that down below and make sure you go and subscribe like and comment for all the girls as well um today it's glow in the dark summer so i'm going to use this set of gel polishes that i haven't got around to swatching yet it's by gel like they are glow in the dark gel polishes they're hema free nine free glow in the dark organic cruelty free, vegan, scentless and glowing so they're really really good quality polishers. I'll turn the box over in case anybody wants to see the ingredients list it's just there but because these have no hemma in them most people everybody can use these so that's pretty cool and they're cruelty free and vegan so you know they're very anybody can probably use these that wants to try and nail art and it's just six gel polishers that are glow in the dark so yeah we're just going to give these a whirl and inside the box you get these so you know where to put them back or you could put them in front of where the polishers are as like swatch kind of things if you've got like a shelf you can pop these in front of the polishers so you know what colours they are I think that's what they're for so I've got my flexi hand out and we're just gonna we're just gonna do this and I've got a stamping plate I don't have a large Okay, so we're going to try and do an ombre with these glow in the dark gels. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out, but I'm giving it a little go to see what happens because the colours should mix like a blue into a purple and then into a pink. So I end up doing two layers of this and it doesn't look that bad. They don't ombre the best, but you know, it, look, it looks okay, I suppose. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to let you watch this. I just put one colour at the bottom, one colour at the top, and then just blend them together in the middle. And then I do that on the that finger and then the other thing the pointer finger. And then I cure it and I'm gonna come back and do a second layer. And then I'll come back after you've watched this.
Okay, so now we're just going to add some of the pink on the thumb and some of the blue on the pointer finger. And then we're going to cure that. I'm going to do two coats of that. I think I do the second coat off camera though. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding some of the base coat. I didn't have a base coat for these, so I think I ended up using the Umicor and McCart one. I can't remember. So I just put a thin layer on and I don't cure it. And then I'm just going to put a blob of some of the pink, the blue, and I think I used a green or a yellow or something like that as well. And then I'm just going to, it's going to be like a blooming kind of effect, but I'm going to use the ombre brush to swirl the colours around and into each other to create a pattern. And then on the sides of the fingers, you always put your finger on the side to get the bulk of the polish off the side walls before you put anything like this into the lamp. Otherwise, it won't cure properly. It doesn't look nice and it's just going to end up being a mess. So don't put yourself through that. If you're doing something quite heavy like this, always take the polish off the side with a finger or put a glove on and just get the polish off the sides and then cure it for a good 60 seconds. Okay, so now we're just going to do some stamping. I'm using a Beauty Big Bang stamping plate and stamping polishers. I'll write what they are in the description box because I can't think what they are off the top of my head. So we're just going to stamp some images onto the nails. I think I do only do it on the thumb, the middle finger and the pinky. So I'm just going to let you watch that and then I'll come back at the end and we'll have a look at it glowing and non-glowing. Oh, and I had a top coat. I had the top coat from, it's a gel-like glossy top coat, but it's from another kit. Okay, so now we're using the Gel Light Glossy Top Coat. This came in another set of gel polishers, uh, but you could use any top coat that you've got. But I'll link both of the sets in the description box. One is glow and one is non-glow essentially, but it's the non-glow in the dark polishers that the top coats came in. Okay, so I've just had this in the lamp. So this is the finished the finished set looking like that. I actually think it looks pretty cute. They didn't ombre the vest, but I think it kind of looks like, you know, a bit of water and maybe a bit of a pink sunset, we can call it. <laughs> I don't know, but I think this marble nail was pretty cute. So because these are glow in the dark, I'm just going to charge them up, turn the lights off, and we're going to have a look at this. So here they are, glowing in the dark. I really love these because the pink goes, the pink glows really light pink, and then that just almost looks like green, purple, and pink, and that sort of a mixture. The blue goes kind of like a green, but like a lot of the other colours glow very similar colours to what they actually are, and I think these look so cute. So yeah, 
So that is the gel like glow in the dark polish. So that is it. So I'll stick up the group picture as always. I'll link the playlist in the description box. And don't forget to check out Gillian. She's on Instagram. She's the only Instagram only person now because Sapphire Deluxe now has a channel. So go and check that out. I'll link it just up there, but she'll be in the playlist as well. So yeah, don't forget to go and go and say hey to everybody else. So that is it. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye.